Hello YTPC, Janis here. It's late Friday afternoon. I hope you all had a, a good week and that your weekend will be even better. Smoking this Peterson 408 Aaron and in it I have a um, part of the sample that I received from uh, Mozek or Tobacco aus Kiel and it's called Wach Weich. And uh, it's Virginia Burley and Perique mixture. Okay. Well, on our last gathering of the Pipe Club, we opened this one, Solani Silverflake. And due to the fact that the bag inside this tin is not sealed, the tobacco was dry. Nevertheless, this is a, uh, it was tint last year and my experience uh, told me that this is still um, a time where when uh, tobacco will be moist but this one was uh, dry that's why I uh, prepared some tobaccos for our next gathering uh, yesterday so um, I will uh, uh, go to that in a minute, but before uh, I do that, I will open these two envelopes or packages that I received today from my friend. One came from the west, from across the pond, from the US, and the other one from the north from Denmark so I got another tin of Cornell and Deal's opening night so straight to Virginia two three so three tins of uh, opening light and a tin of GLP's Samara or Samara, an English band. So this came from uh, US. And another one, there is a lot of, oh, this is a paper, let me just take this out. Okay, so I ordered a tin of Ashley's number 44, dark Virginia flake with a really good rating on tobaccoreviews.com and it's not available in US. I was uh, looking at this blend uh, for some time now and it didn't uh, become available. So I ordered it from Denmark. It's produced by Kolhas and Kop, and it's from May 2017. Here you can see the the code from Kolhas and Kop, and this is one of the mistakes that can be made. 
you see a and then slash and then two times a and this is a mistake so it should be a slash a and then e and then q so q is for 2017 e is for uh, five as a fifth uh, letter of the english alphabet and a is for one and the first a means cool hasn't so uh ashley's and since this uh, went through i ordered five more teams so i will expect that very soon to arrive the second and the third team are the ones that can be bought only at that shop i mean you can buy them maybe on the secondary market but these two can be bought only in Danish pipe shop and it is a BS flake or brown sugar flake so two tins uh, I had four that I ordered maybe in 2017 or maybe even 2016 but this two uh, I bought to have six of them which is my standard quantity of uh, a certain uh, Virginia or Virginia based blend and after that if I really 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 like uh, like the blend I buy additional four let's say or something like that to have like 10 tins of that blend as I said um, yesterday evening I prepared some uh, uh, tobaccos for our pipe cups gathering that it's still I have enough time for that I mean it's in June but since we decided to to take uh, some blends that are they, that, that come wet like this full Virginia flake so two tins of full Virginia flake 100 grams uh, this one I will be uh, slowly uh, dehydrating a little bit so there will be just the right moisture uh, when we will smoke them the Saint Bruno flake also it's a bit uh, a bit wet really nice smell but it's a bit wet so usually I just uh, not fully close the the jar and leave it like this for some time mm. full virginia flake really nice smell and uh, due to my experience with uh, um, silver flake I checked also some other uh, blends that we are going to smoke first one is this one that we were gifted by our president of the club so seven seas original blend very bright one and it's dry so i this this uh, part in the can will wait until uh, we will empty this jar this one but i will need to hydrate it a, a bit just a bit not too much uh, the second one is uh, zeg bauer from munich zeg bauer blend 44 it's an aromatic with a light uh, topping really nice smelling topping More or less it's ribbon cut but we can see some uh, curlies between and some flakes or parts of the flakes and I will have to just as uh, seven C's I will have to hydrate it a little bit and then uh, I also opened this one from Fife and Deal 
It's also a house blend. It's old English mixture. And it's an English mixture with a, not a lot of Latakia. You can see that not a lot of black uh, uh, tobacco is in there. That smells really nice. But all, of, all three of them will need just a little bit of hydration. And uh, St. Bruno Flake and uh, Full Virginia Flake. So St. Bruno Flake and Full Virginia Flake will need a bit of dehydration. I'm really happy that I got this one, Ashley's, number 44. It must be really special because it's out of the stock for a long time. I don't know why Kohlhasut Coop or online stores are not ordering more or it's not produced because it's available in Denmark. So I took this one and as I said, two tins of brown sugar flake or BS flake is now known due to the changed European anti-tobacco regulation. This is the first tin from uh, October 2017 of Samara, GLPs, regional mixtures. Samara, opulent and elegant, several varieties of Virginia tobaccos from the structure of this mixture, form the structure of this mixture. Smoky Cyprian Latakia, fine Turkish leaf, and just a bit of perique are added for richness. The smoke is silky and round, a subtle yet complex sweetness from the Virginias and just a little zest is present throughout the smoke while layers of complexity tantalize the senses from the first line to the last puff. And this opening night is a delicious blend of red and bright Virginias pressed to perfection. And both of them are rated really high on tobacco review, so I know that I didn't do a mistake. And this will go to other three tins that are already in my cellar and they will wait for some time. They are from, oh, these are from 14th of April 2018. So more or less new new tins. Okay, there's another thing that I wanted to, uh, to say. This is something that I prepared for our uh, club members. It's a, a sheet of paper that has all the information on it. In this case for Solani, Silver Flake. So the description, um, what are the ingredients, the cuts and everything. What is the strength, the flavoring, taste and room note from tobaccoreviews.com, all of that. And then uh, I added a part that says uh, Piper's rating. And it's uh, again a strength, flavoring, taste and a general rating that, would, uh, uh, that they uh, can give. And they also have some uh, space to, uh, to write down a few words what they think about this. And after I will, uh, we will be out of this tobacco, I will collect all these uh, notes here and uh, do some statistics to see how did our uh, club members like this one. And we will know for future if we are going to buy this uh, blend again or not. So, and you could see that uh, we dipped in our house blends that we bought in Munich and some other blends that you already know. So, Full Virginia Flake and this one. Another thing that I did is I took some of the tobaccos that uh, we have smoked for the, last for, for the last year. And since we had just like 50 grams or maybe a little bit more of, of that tobacco, and I noticed that it's not being smoked as much as before. I took all that tobacco. Actually, I took uh, this uh, Virginia Peric mixture, um, Dark Twist, and another English mixture mixed with uh, Germain's Brown Flake and jarred them. And also used uh, parafilm to additionally seal. 
this. And these are first three, uh, first three jars of tobacco that we are planning to to age for our club. So we will uh, leave them for maybe three years, two, two, let's say two years, and after that we will open them and and see how they aged. So. As I said, I hope uh, your week was uh, good and that your uh, weekend will be even better. If you will have time, please do visit uh, Harriet Herfer. I will put the link down in the bucket. She is a, uh, a new member of YTPC uh, that has passed uh, 100 subs and her channel is really fresh, really nice. Uh, she's a great person and go and visit her channel and show her some YTPC love. So, my friends, I hope you will enjoy your weekend and have a lot of pleasant smokes.